Welcome to my review of Factory Lofts in Laurelis. It's a building of pure Airbnbs. The unique thing about this place is it's the only place that I've reviewed in Laureles, which is a different neighborhood than Poblado. It's the second neighborhood, so I'm going to talk about in this review the neighborhood. I'm going to talk about the layout of the building, uh, the price, the Wi-Fi, guest visitor policy, and then I'm going to finish up with pros and cons. So by the time you finish this review, you won't even have to stay here. You'll know everything about it. So I'm going to start with the neighborhood because it's the most interesting thing apart about this if you're coming here for the first time being Medellin, typically you're going to go to Poblado first, Parque Geras, and then you venture out to Laureles. How is it different? Laureles is very flat. It's very flat. It's very walkable. It's cheaper. It's more neighborhood-like. You're going to find people who say hi to each other on the streets. There's going to be the corner store there. Those are the main different things. There are, there are, there are still gringos out here, tourists but there's uh, less of them and the ones that are out here are typically here for longer term they know spanish whereas in poblado you're going to find um, foreigners here who are who are just here for a couple nights partying so the um and by the way where it specifically is in laurelis it's in a good location actually la setenta i'm i'm looking right outside the window at la setenta it's got a nice mountain view here la setenta by the way is like the party street the restaurant street this is the main this would be the main area nighttime area of all of Laurelis. It's also nearby the freeway. If you wanted to go to Poblado, you can get there in 15 minutes without traffic. The layout of the building. So there's eight levels. The first level is reception only. The second level is co-working, not included, $9 a day. Though I went there with, with one of my employees here and, and, I, and they knew about it and I worked there for a couple hours and they didn't charge me. So I'm not sure what's going on with there. Um, the second to the seventh floor are all rooms. So here's the thing about it on Airbnb, which is where I booked this place. I couldn't tell what really the difference is beside a little bit decor. So here's the difference. When the room ends in 01, that is slightly larger and the bathroom is significantly larger. I had a look at it. I am in 602. 602, the ones that end in 02, whether it's on the third floor or the seventh floor, 02, 03, and 04, those are the room that I have, similar size. And then um, 05, they're slightly smaller, though they're on the other side of the room. The one downside of here, which I'll get to in the cons, is it was a little bit noisy. That side, the, the room that ends with five, probably not noisy, though it's a little smaller. Though the bigger one was marginally larger. It was more or less the same. And then we've got to the highlight of the building, maybe the rooftop. Uh, they have a, I think Airbnb said a pool and a jacuzzi. It's like a pool sized jacuzzi. It's hot, but it's large jacuzzi. It's on the rooftop, eighth floor, great views. Uh, really nice, really nice hanging out there. And the place was pretty empty, this building. There wasn't many people staying here. I'm not, I'm not sure why. So I barely ever see, see, saw any guests. The video will be back shortly, but I promised Reishi and Luna they could say something. Now the Wi-Fi. I'm happy to announce this is now the new fastest Wi-Fi in all of Medellin, as far as I'm aware. The other one, if you recall, was Manila Boutique Hotel. I did a review there. I'll put it up here. And that was like, I think it was like 400 megabytes per second. This is 480 megabytes per second. Fast. The price was $115 a night. And I booked last minute, so they may have changed it. More or less, all of the rooms were kind of the same, 90 to 95 to 120. Um, it's high. It's expensive. It's expensive. Remember, El Cielo, I did a review on El Cielo. I'll put a link here. That was 100 bucks. El Cielo is one of the nicest hotels in all of Medellin, 100 bucks. Here, 115. Landmark Hotel, which is the same owner's own Landmark Hotel as owns this. Landmark Hotel is the newest hotel in uh, Manila, Barrio neighborhood uh, of, of Poblado area. And that was about $80. So this is on the high end. So the guest policy, uh, Casacol owns Factory Los Laureles. They also own a couple other places I've been at. They're very strict with their guest policy. They make visitors sign these all these rules. So the guest policy here is you get one visitor in a 10-day reservation. If you have 10-day reservation, you get one visitor. If you have longer than 10 days, I think, you get two visitors. You can switch out that visitor once. You can also put, if you're on Airbnb, you can put uh, two visitors and then you get like a free visitor. So, but I'm not sure if that visitor needs to check in the same day or something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but very strict about the visitor policy. Now let's get into some pros and cons I got here. Uh, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with cons. Let's start with cons. It looks bigger on Airbnb. If I were to take a guess, gosh, I don't know. This might be like 40 square meters, something like that. Maybe twice the size of a small sized hotel room. Um, I mentioned it was 
loud on Friday night. I've been here for three nights on Friday night. I, I, it's not terrible, but you could definitely hear noise from the street. Even until 4 a.m., there was dudes sitting on the street. Not, uh, not perfect. The blackout curtains, they are there, but there's floor to ceiling windows, so they're definitely not perfect. That's kind of a con, I'm very light sensitive. The showers here, everything's very modern and nice, but the showers here are very small, like super small, which I like a big, grandiose shower. Now, I should mention, I own an Airbnb in Poblado, next to Parque Giras, specifically in Provenza, if you're familiar. And one of the things that I love about it is it has a giant, ginormous sized shower in the master bedroom with a glass rooftop. I'm going to leave a link in the bottom to that YouTube channel and to uh, the uh, Instagram and Airbnb page if you want to have a look there. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom penthouse in a really good location. The last two cons, um, there's no real workspace. The best is right here. That's kind of a workspace. It was, it, it worked okay. And also my luggage, which is, you know me, minimalist. I have the smallest type carry-on luggage you have. Didn't fit in the closet, so I had to put it on the ground over here. That wasn't super convenient. Now for the positives. We'll finish out with the positives. All right, so let's finish up with the positives here. Um, when I came in, there was a, a welcome gift. That was cool. That's some coffee, a couple beers, etc. It's a very modern, clean, homey feeling place for, sure, for certainly fully stocked. Got everything, even scissors and cutting boards and paper towels and shot glasses. Uh, so that's nice. There is no, you're not gonna find any salt or oil here. We'll have to buy that. And the last thing I wanna mention is there was thoughtfully designed where they put the switches on the bedside lamps. You know what stickler for bedside lamps and for hooks to hang things? And they wrapped the, as you can see, they wrapped the cable around the bedside lamp so that the switch was facing you if you were in the bed reading a reading a book. So props to you, Casa Cole, for thinking about that. That wraps up my review of Factory Los Laureles. If you have a hotel, you're coming to Medellin, you want me to speak on a hotel here, or you're just curious, drop it in the comments. I'll see you there. Until next time, bye now.